What are you sniffing around for, Henry? If you want to leave, get out of here. How do you know me? I know everything, Henry. <laughs> you will find nothing here except for death. Where's my daughter Shirley? <laughs> Why would he know that? You will witness it, Henry. Only a bit of time left. Hello? Hello? Where's my daughter, you bastard? Damn, we got hung up on by Satan. Who was that? What's going on here? save. Oh, I picked up another note. Let's take a look. Note number eight. Talk to Stan about the occult symbol. He has the same symbol in the form of a tattoo. He's trying to pass himself as one, someone he's not. I mean, he just said he was Stan. He didn't give us any more in information other than that. He didn't say he wasn't part of the, the occult. Oh, God. I didn't check any of this stuff when I came in here the first time. So I guess we'll do that now before we talk to Stan. And we're gonna save, just in case Stan starts popping off with some demon magic or some I don't know if he's gonna do that, but this seems like the type of game that just be like, all of a sudden he's a demon. I wonder if the voice over the phone was like Stan. It's like, how? I need my one phone call right now. I know that Harry is in, is in the apartment. I need my one phone call. My one phone call, please. Hmm. I read case file 666. What? And what's strange is that your tattoo is the same as the symbol of this secret society. What do you know about the secret society, Molly McGuire? Tell me quickly, unless you want to rot here for eternity. I was framed. I was part of the Molly McGuire Society. We carried out rituals and followed beliefs of the occult. Why were you locked up here? The fire in 1992? Was it your doing? I was ordered to find ten pure souls who would act as sacrifices for the son of the devil. I was not able to find the kids in time. The fire? No. We controlled the devil's son, brought him sacrifices, carried out the occult rituals. He freed himself from our control. The only thing that is containing him is the tunnel which encircles the entire town. It's filled with pentagrams of protection. His powers are growing, but now he is trapped down in the mine, where it all began. But this will not hold him for long. He is searching for a pure and innocent soul. What do you mean for long? Which will help him escape, and then the apocalypse will begin. All right. Why did you do this? We spilled blood for the son of the devil. In exchange, he gave us immortality to live forever. Sounds good, doesn't it? You sick bastard. Where's my daughter? Hold on. I don't know. Did it work? His powers are growing. These are it's important questions. It's possible that he clouded her mind. He might already be inside her. Relax <laughs> what? and enjoy. The end of the world is close. How can I kill him? If I only knew. In my apartment, there is something that will be useful to you. Building 21 slash 1. 22nd apartment. The entry code is 8881. What are you talking about? You'll find out. Stop! Don't leave! Let me out! Okay, something that, that's really bugging me, whenever there's dialogue, there's a period, but then the letter after the period that starts the next sentence isn't capitalized, and it's freaking me out. My god, this frame rate. 
Alright, so Stan did not turn into a demon like I expected, which is a little bit disappointing, but I'm also really happy because I only have 10 bullets. Jesus. There's a $1 million reward for this guy. Take that. Oh, we'll take whatever that is as well. Police journal. Let's take a look. During the 1860s and 70s, the town of Centralia was surrounded areas of the home secret society of the Irish immigrants. Is there more than one cult? Oh, okay, this is the cult. I don't know why I'd... they have to be Irish, but it was called the My Molly Maguire. Is that a thing? Is that like Irish like lore or history or something? I have, I have no idea. The founder of the town, Alexander Rhea, became the victim of paid assassination. He was murdered on October 17th. 1868 on the town outskirts three people were accused of the murder and later sentenced to, to hang in the center of the B bloomsburg pennsylvania the sentence was carried out march 25th 1878 also during this period several murders in the case of arson took place in 1992 the secret society of molly mcguire appeared once again several ch children under the age of 10 disappeared and sometimes sometime later the bodies of five children were discovered. It appeared the children were used as sacrifice. sacrifices. On April 18th, 1992, a gathering place for occult activities was discovered. It was located inside one of the coal mines. Inside, a number of bodies and writing related to the occult were found. I don't know why, what this has to do with any of the assassinations. Located in the town school board, which was responsible for the operations of several elementary schools and one middle school. In addition, the town had two Catholic parochals schools i guess on april 19th 1992 a fire started in the coal mine and the process in the process of destroying more than half of the evidence related to the occult society in Baldwin mcguire attempts to put out the fire continued until the middle of may 1992 alas the fire couldn't be stopped Smog appeared on the streets and ash began rain raining down from the town. The town authorities decided upon the immediate evacuation of the townspeople. Unfortunately, a small number of people were saved. This is the weirdest story I think I've ever read. Why do we even need to know about these assassinations? All right. Let's go back to the note. We got to go to Stan's apartment. Entry code is 8881-211. Let's look at the map. Uh, okay, so it's all the way down to the end of this street. Uh, no, we're still running. Uh, sir? Why are you tired? Sir. Sir. Curly? Stop. It's your papa. <laughs> Did you see that run cycle? <laughs> oh. Oh my god. What is happening? What is this? Let's see how much the little ones heal me for. About half. This is 
so weird. I don't understand this. I guess it's supposed to be like water, but it looks so weird. And it like bounces? It's like moons or something. We'll walk down here first. Yeah. Alright, I guess we'll save. Hey. Oh, hang on. Gotta unwrap my bullets. And eat my, my diamonds and emeralds. Cheryl's run cycle in that cutscene was hilarious. She was just like booking it. She's like, oh god, I need to be in this building so I can spook him. I mean, I guess. Oh, god, why are these hallways so tiny? Or I, I guess, why am I so fat? I guess that's my question. Also, the, the sound is kind of like off from my character, so I, I always feel like there's someone behind me, but it's just my footsteps. Hit him with the bread. Let's go. Also, something that I've noticed, the box of bullets is like a revolver. This is the same room as last time, but there's no, no vent. But we are going to check everything, just to make sure that there's nothing in here that I can take. Still looking for a pipe for that shotgun. Upstairs. Oh, wrong way. To the elevator. Is there only one button for this elevator? Nope, it's the same elevator as last time. So I don't know, because there's two sets of buttons. So we're going to try to go down first, and we're going to see where it goes. Oh. Okay. Let me go to one. Is one the floor? What number are you? Uh, let's do this. Is there a two? There is a two. Is there a three? There's a three? All right, game. You got a nine. You got a nine in you? No way. Seriously? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ha! Okay. <laughs> Let's go back to one. This game's just joshing. It's like, ah, I got nine floors. I'm like, really? They're like, nah, just... just One floor has a zombie in it. Alright, can I just go up? 
the stairs? Uh, what was that? Ah, just the lights. Is that four floor stairs? Yes. That is the elevator. <laughs> do, you, do you think it's one of these doors? Is it possibly one of, one of these doors? The door with the big bright red light on it? And it says, evil. No, oh, I have a bunch of master keys. Are you serious? The wooden shotgun? Oh, is this is the part where we put our hand in the to toilet? Let's upgrade the gun. Uh, just in case. But I guess we have the wooden shotgun now, so I guess we can go get the, the real shotgun. I wonder if I should do that before I walk into this baby room. Is this the room? No. Is this the police note? Yeah, apartment 22. Oh no, wait, that's 19. bread. I wish I could jump so bad. Health kit. Pick it up. More bread. A full loaf this time. Is this like 20 year old bread for 1992? Because the only person we've seen so far is like Stan. So unless he's cooking, and unless he's got like a, a thing for bread, no one else has been here. Except for maybe this crying baby. Oop. Gotta go up. Just hang on, baby. Stay right there, Henry. I want you to leave. Oh, what? I'm only looking for my daughter, Shirley. I don't care what you're doing here. Too much is at stake, Henry. Why does he get it's that cool-ass gun? too late. 
the devil's son has begun to consume us. Your daughter is the vessel for the son of the devil. You cannot save her. What are you talking about? Have you seen her? They are always questions, Henry, to which there are no answers. How do you know me? I know many things, Henry. My mind has moved long ago beyond the stippling confidence of the human brain. Confidence? What are you trying to do? Stop the evil. If you want to leave, get out of here right now. He will be free soon. Close your eyes, Henry. Are we on the same side? I'm so confused. Who was that? Oh man, they're giving me full loaves of bread. Key to apartment 15. Okay. Let's take a look here. Building 21 note. Building 21 journal. Let's take a look and see what we got. Find the school keys in apartment 15 where the watchman lived. Okay. Oh God, this is so much. For the new ritual, we require 10 children. Don't know why it's 10. What happened to the coal mine? I made a copy of the key to the watchman's apartment so that I can steal the keys to the school. Why not just make copies of the keys at the school, man? The watchman lives in apartment 15. Once I have the keys, I will be able to alter the documents about the apartments of a new principal. Why? Get out of here. <laughs> Our man must become the principal of the school. The old school principal just retired. Then there's an opening. You don't have to you don't have to manipulate anything. Just have your guy run for the principal. This is a small town. I'm sure no one's I'm sure he's just gonna run unopposed. Once a week, there is a period of a few hours when the school is left unguarded. This is the time will be enough to get access to one of the computers and alter the documents relating to the appointment of the new principal. The members of our society will be handsomely rewarded since the leader of our brotherhood has access to the gold deposits found in the nearby coal mine. The main task of the new principal will be to send the kids to a museum which is isolated in a nearby town. The road to the neighboring town goes through a thick forest. There it will be easy to abduct the kids and burn the bus. <laughs> Very inconspicuous of you, I guess. Inside the bus will be the principal and the fake driver. Twelve bodies will be discovered, delivered to us from the nearby morgues, which will leave in the bus and no medical examinations will be able to identify the bodies. I'm pretty sure even burnt remains, they can tell whether they're children or not. No one will guess that the ten children traveling on the bus will have been taken to be used in the ritual. Also, we have people in the police force so that falsifying the DNA results will pose no problem. This is so convoluted. You're planting a principle in an open slot and altering documents. If if you already have people with the police, just kidnap the kids and just have the police that you have planted do the investigation and be like, we didn't find anything. Sorry, we'll keep looking. People disappear all the time. This is insane. This plan is nuts. All right, let me get to this crying child. This is for apartment 15. That's for apartment 13. That door is locked. Alright, is every door from here on out just locked? Yep. Which apartment is apartment 15 on?
Uh, okay. <laughs> Just a middle finger, huh? That's what he told him the, the uh, key. Well, hold your horses there, bucko. Because I got some looting to do. Oh, got a note. Building journal. Air pollutants are harmful gases and particles which often preside inside various mining facilities. This is insane. <laughs> Chief among these pollutants are natural gases, exhaust from vehicles, and the fumes produced by certain chemicals. The main physical dangers are noise, vocal vibrations, high air temperatures, changes in barometrics pressure, and ionizing radiation. What does this have to do with anything? All these factors are encountered in different combinations of various mines, depending on the depth or composition and method of extraction. If a group of miners spends time together in relative isolation, then there is also danger of the spread of infectious diseases, such as TB, which I assume is tuberculosis, hepatitis B, R, E, and AIDS. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are they just having like an orgy in the cave? What is happening? The degree of danger to the miners is dependent on dependent wholly on their assigned tasks, proximity to the source of the danger, and the effectiveness of the of protective measures. Jesus Christ. If you're a miner, you just get AIDS. Wow. Okay. Did you drop the key? Where's the fucking key, dude? Where's the key? Did I grab the key on accident? Yes. I grabbed it on accident. Somehow, without facing him, I grabbed it. Walk out of here and go to the school. Oh, the school's pretty close. Actually, let's go back to apartment twenty-eight two and go grab the shotgun. Cause I feel like nope. Oh. I feel like things are going to get really real once we hit the school. Over here. It's time, boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. 